Have you heard the exciting news? Apple has recently unveiled some major updates and enhancements for two of its flagship products, the Apple Watch and the iPhone. Get ready to be amazed because the Apple Watch Series 9 and the iPhone 15 are here with a whole bunch of new features and improvements that are sure to elevate your tech experience to the next level. So let's dive right in and explore all the fantastic updates that Apple has in store for us. Firstly, we don't have specific details about the Apple Watch Series 9 chip yet. However, Murray Gurman has now stated that not only will the Apple Watch Series 9 chip be based on a 5 nanometer process, but it will also be the Apple A15 chip. This is exciting news because the A15 chip brings significant improvements in power efficiency, so we could see a major battery life improvement in the Series 9 and even the second gen Apple Watch Ultra 2. Moving on to the second piece of Apple Watch news, Watch OS X is rumored to be the beta software update for the Apple Watch since its inception. Apart from a redesigned home screen with folders, which we discussed in our previous video, there's another interesting change. According to our sources, Apple will introduce on-screen widgets to the Apple Watch. Now, this sounds cool on paper, but I'm not sure how it will work in reality. The Apple Watch has a small display, and the current complications offer a lot of information at a glance. Adding iOS-style widgets might take up too much screen space without providing much additional information. But if Apple adds widgets to the app screen instead of the watch face, it could be a game changer. Here's some concerning news. More and more developers are closing down their Apple Watch apps. We've already lost Twitter, Instagram, Slack, and even Uber. Responding to notifications directly from the Apple Watch is becoming limited. You can only respond via the app, which is quite inconvenient. One possible reason for this is the relatively low user base for third-party apps on the Apple Watch. Most people mainly use their Apple Watches for health tracking and notifications, so there isn't a strong demand for additional apps. Perhaps the new widget system will entice developers to create more apps for the Apple Watch. Now let's move on to some updates about the iPhone. Display analyst Russian claims that Apple will increase the screen sizes with the 2024 iPhone 16s. The iPhone 16 Pro is rumored to have a 6.3-inch display, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max could feature a massive 6.9-inch display. Personally, I have mixed feelings about this. A larger screen on the Pro model would provide more internal space, potentially allowing for additional features like a periscope module. However, a 6.9-inch display might be too big and uncomfortable to use, considering the size and sharp edges of previous Max models. Looking ahead, Digitimes claims that Apple will eventually introduce micro-LED displays in the iPhone. This technology is expected to come to the iPhone lineup in the near future. Micro-LED displays are known for their superior image quality, high brightness, and energy efficiency compared to traditional OLED displays. This transition could potentially bring significant improvements to the iPhone's display, offering users a more vibrant and immersive viewing experience. However, the adoption of micro-LED displays may not happen immediately. It is a complex and challenging technology to implement on a large scale. Manufacturing micro-LED displays with high yield rates and consistent quality is still a hurdle that needs to be overcome. Additionally, the cost of production for micro-LED displays is currently quite high, which could impact the pricing of future iPhones. Nonetheless, if Apple successfully integrates micro-LED displays into their iPhones, it would mark a notable advancement in display technology. Users can expect enhanced color accuracy, deeper blacks, and improved energy efficiency, leading to longer battery life. Furthermore, the adoption of micro-LED displays could pave the way for thinner and lighter iPhone designs, as these displays require fewer layers and components compared to traditional LCD or OLED displays. While Digitimes claims suggest that Apple will eventually introduce micro-LED displays, it's important to note that plans can change and Apple typically keeps its product developments under tight wraps until an official announcement. So, we'll have to wait for more concrete information from Apple itself or reliable sources before we can confirm the inclusion of micro-LED displays in future iPhones. Every year, Apple hosts the Worldwide Developers Conference, a highly anticipated event that brings together developers, industry professionals, and Apple enthusiasts from around the world. WWDC serves as a platform for Apple to showcase its latest software updates, unveil new features, and provide developers with tools and resources to enhance their app development. The WWDC keynote presentation is the centerpiece of the event, where Apple executives take the stage to make significant announcements and reveal upcoming products and services. Historically, the keynote has been the venue for major software announcements, including new versions of iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. 
At WWDC, developers gain valuable insights into the latest advancements in Apple's operating systems, allowing them to optimize their apps and take advantage of the newest features and technologies. Apple also holds various sessions, workshops, and labs where developers can interact with Apple engineers, learn best practices, and receive guidance on refining their apps. In recent years, WWDC has become an event where Apple showcases its commitment to privacy and security. Apple often highlights its efforts to protect user data and emphasizes the importance of user privacy across its platforms. WWDC also provides a platform for Apple to unveil new hardware, although the primary focus remains on software. In the past, Apple has used WWDC as an opportunity to introduce new Mac models or provide updates to existing product lines. However, it's worth noting that hardware announcements at WWDC are less common compared to software-related announcements. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Apple held its WWDC events virtually in 2020 and 2021, allowing developers and attendees to participate remotely. It's uncertain whether future WWDC events will continue to be held virtually or return to in-person gatherings, as it largely depends on the prevailing circumstances and public health considerations. WWDC creates excitement and anticipation among Apple fans and developers alike, as it sets the stage for the next wave of innovation and improvements across Apple's ecosystem. It serves as a significant milestone in the company's annual calendar and offers valuable insights into the direction Apple is taking with its software and developer-focused initiatives. That wraps up our discussion on the Apple Watch Series 9 and iPhone 15, and what an incredible journey it has been. We've explored the major updates, exciting features, and all the ways these devices are set to revolutionize the tech landscape. If you enjoyed this discussion and want to stay up to date with the latest tech news and updates, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these remarkable devices and how you think they'll impact your daily life. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about future videos and discussions on all things tech. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey, and we hope you're as thrilled as we are about the Apple Watch Series 9 and iPhone 15. Stay tuned for more incredible innovations from Apple and other tech giants, and until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with technology.